Okay, we're going to work on lab one. I have the directions right here, so I will be playing along with this. This version is being recorded in Office 2013 for Windows. I will also record it in Office 2011 for the Mac, so make sure that you're watching the correct one. I'm going to launch PowerPoint, and I'm going to select a theme to start with. Now, different themes are going to start with different options, and you can pretty much pick any theme that you want. So, I'm going to choose the pressed leaves design. You don't have to choose this one, you can change any. And I'm going to hit create. And this automatically gives me several types of content in here. Many of them open without content, so if you need to add new content, make sure to add new slide and pick from your layout. I want you to have a title slide, a title and content slide, a content with caption slide, and a two content slide. And so here we have two content, two content, title and content, title and content with list. So I've got title, title and content. I don't have content with caption, so I'm going to change this one to content with caption, and then I match everything. Don't worry about any content that they drop in here because we're really working on editing the master slide at this point and I'm not too worried about the content they put up. So we're going to change to the side, slide master view. So I'm going to go view and I'm going to click slide master and this lets us edit the master slide. I'm going to click and enter edit the master text I want to do the title, and I want the title for all of them. So I'm going to click to edit the master title slide. They're almost all right aligned, and my goal here is not making a good slide. It's to show that you can change these. So I'm going to center it. You'll find that that centers most of the titles, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to change the font of the title slide. Now I'm going to pick a font that should be available on every computer. Um, my graphic design friends would be rolling their eyes at this because I'm going to have you change the font. So it's Comic Sans MS. You're going to, and it's easiest if you just start typing it out, it'll take you right to it. Comic Sans MS, hit enter, and this is not a good font to use unless you're doing something specifically for children or related to comic books, but it's very distinctive so it will be easy for me to see that you have changed it to that font. Okay, then we're going to change the bullet styles. Colors don't matter for, to me for this, so I'm going to go to one of the bulleted lists and I'm going to change it. Oops. I want you to use the arrow style because again that's not frequently used so it will be easy for me to tell that you have changed that. I'm not worried about the colors, leave it with the colors for your theme. And be careful if you move off it like I just did, I accidentally bumped the mouse wrong. Once you have them all changed, then make sure that you save. So you're going to end up saving this as, I'm just going to save mine to my desktop, and I'm just going to save it as Winchester PowerPoint Lab 1. So just save it with your last name as PowerPoint Lab 1. Okay. And then we're going to add our name to the center of the footer. The easiest way to do this is to go to the Insert tab, Header and Footer. And so I want you to add your name to the center. And I'm going to have you include the date and time. And I show that I want you to have it spelled out with the name. So this is the one that I want. So Monday, November 10th, 2014, I'm looking for the name of the day, the full date, and then I'm going to hit apply to all, and that should put that in there. 
we go back and check something on that insert header and footer I wanted to check don't show on title slide and I wanted to make sure slide number is unchecked okay then apply to all so you're going to make sure the date is showing in the footer change the format to spell out the day and the date don't show the slide number turn that feature off close the slide master view so we're going to go back to slide master and close slide master view or you can go to view and return to normal either one will do the same thing and you'll notice that the titles the bullets all of the changes have been made throughout the slideshow go ahead and save your slideshow again and hand it in